Hey. I'm not late. Ah, got there one second before you delete your message. Who bites ice cream? I don't know. Me, I guess. I guess me instinctively. I don't like wasting time. You're spending all your time licking this ice cream cone, being nasty and miserable and having it like drip all over your hands and acting like a fucking animal. I'm finished in like half the time. I've enjoyed it in double the time. I've immediately scampered off to do something else that's more constructive with my time. I can enjoy things faster than you can, haha. Ha. And I don't know why I'm being shamed for that, it's true. Tomato gamers will optimize the fun out of anything gaming. It's not a gamer thing. It's a, it's just me. I don't need to be a gamer to uh, know that I'm constant. Like any, any, especially melting food. Like that has like a fucking temperature point where it's just now not good. Literally Dippin' Dots. I haven't had Dippin' Dots in like a hundred years. I thought they were outlawed. Dippin' Dots melt faster though. Yeah, but you can snort them easier. I don't know how anyone can even joke about like snort, like putting anything in their nose. Like I can't even use like freaking nasal spray for my poor sinuses when I have a cold. I literally can't do it. Like anything gets in there, I'm like, Ugh! and I like actually like have a fucking mental breakdown. I snorted pepper once as a dare and you deserved whatever misery came about from that. You deserved it. I would sooner do the cinnamon challenge where you just like put a, like a, spoonful of cinnamon in your mouth than snort like a dust of any kind into my nose. Tomato, that cinnamon challenge sent multiple people to the ER, but did it send anyone to the, like the pearly gates? Because that changes what I'm about to say next. No one died from the cinnamon challenge, but one kid did end up in a coma. I shouldn't be laughing, but the thing is, imagine if that kid wakes up from that coma and it's been 20 years and they have to look in the mirror and know that they got comad by the cinnamon. They got sent to the cinnamon realm. They got sent to, they got blasted in time. Blasted forward in time to the cinnamon realm. Cinnamon Did the kid wake up? Hang on, before I make any more jokes, did the kid wake up? He did in 2015. Okay, when did he when did he enter the cinnamon realm? Five nights in the cinnamon realm. Is that true? It was five days. Dude, that's gotta change your entire life perspective. <laughs> Crunchitized his brain. <laughs> Pin that. That's a good one. That's a really good one. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way, dude. Holy shit. This is so fucked up. Stop laughing. They, look, it's been like 10 years almost for them. They're like looking back at it now and they're saying, God, I was a fucking, they were 13. Yeah, and now they're like 20 something at a birthday party. Unless like, do you think they still wake up and cough out like a little bit of cinnamon every little bit? <laughs> the Pharaoh's curse. The curse of Ra. <laughs> Hey dude, come over here. I'm making some cookies and I need cinnamon. Dude, that's like a superpower. <clears throat> what if like it just did come out that like, it's not like a medical issue with that one lad. It's like a, just a fundamental reality of cinnamon is that it allow, it just comas you. And they start using that shit in like the, in like the sci-fi future for like hibernation technology. You fucking get closed in like a little pod in another 50 or 60 years. And instead of like ice getting sprayed out and like freezing you, it just sprays cinnamon in your face. Oh, what the heck? Oh, yeah, that's that picture of an alien that I took, that, that UFO, right on my wall. Okay, objectives, explore the house, open the safe in this room. Uh, flares scare them, can contact with their own tech. They can activate, they can activate cloaking devices, keep the blinds shut, they're watching. What the hell you mean they're watching? Why the fuck do I have an entire shelf dedicated to soda? I don't buy it. Oh, the fuck was that sound? I want to believe. I got to grab my vintage. Why would we ever need to use this? What the fuck are you talking about, man? Th that was my great, great, great grandfather's. There's something out there, Chabby Bear. Take a look around. C Clyde is out there. Guys, we better be freaking careful. I'm coming in. Who's out there? Better keep our wits about us. 
there's some kind of fucking creature outside. Zero, zero, it's, oh, oh God. Any one of these could be our freaking. oh, gee, oh, oh. Okay, well, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna, I'm gonna invade Rory's privacy. I, I am their parent. Oh, oh, mother of God. Hey, get out. Where's my toilet? Damn you, Clyde! You're not gonna get away with it. You taking my children and my wife is one thing, but you take a man's toilet, uh, and I'm gonna have to kill you. One, one, three. Why am I seeing numbers? I'm seeing like numbers and shit. The light is on for a certain amount of time, and the numbers appear. Chat, he realistically, here's what's gonna happen we're gonna fucking die. What the? <laughs> Why am I getting, like, tasteful pictures of Clyde on my walls, and then an awful picture is what's actually in my fucking bathroom? This is- Take it back! Take it back! This ain't right. Something's wrong in here. I knew they were too- I, I knew there was something off. Too much washing powder doesn't make any sense. Why, why would I need all of that? Everything else looks okay. Except for my entire sink. I'm not dumb. Two. One. Hang on. I get it. One. Correct. Uh. Just want to see if this was the one that was correct. One. It was. Fuck off, Clyde! I'm busy! Okay. Hello? Oh my god! An artifact! One of the things in like a weird storage room key! So now I have both the storage room keys! Dude, we are gonna get out of here alive, bro! Are you in the room with me now, Clyde? Clyde? You, you should come out and just show yourself. Paranoid streamer. The game kind of sets you up to do that. It sets you up to be really paranoid. Check this too. Whoa! See ya! I'm in. I only got one more artifact I need, Clyde. You're running out of time, Clyde. <gasps> oh shit. There are three sections to get to. You tell me I don't know the answer to my own fucking maze? Why does my guy not have a map? If you get lost, remain calm, stay put, shout for help. Try to follow the maze wall with your left hand. Always left. Clyde! Go away! 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 Blair, now! That's what I fucking thought, Clyde. We're gonna be kinda close. I think we used too many flares earlier. Ah! Why did I make this maze in three sections? Who was I trying to prove anything to? Who was I trying to impress? Section three! I can see the end of the world! We made it! That's right, this is just a fucking fountain. God damn it. This is... There's something seriously fucked up about making like a, like making a goddamn maze, like a corn maze, and one path just goes for about a quarter mile and then ends in a dead end. Think about doing that to someone. How the fu- what the- Ain't no way. Dude, I'm actually- I actually don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm going insane. Clyde, stop fucking doing that! What the- Dude, that's like some bullshit. Dude, that's actually- that's actually ma- that's a legal maze practice. What do you fucking mean? Hee hee, I put one secret path. I made a little silly one. I told everyone to go left, and then I made them go right. Oh my god. Stop fucking farting, Clyde. It stinks. It's fucking awful. Even outdoors, I can smell it so clearly, it's horrible. You're making the corn wilt. Clyde. Mm, they're tossing me out of the fucking corn mate. Oh. This is it! Boop. Boop. Arise. Arise, aliens. I'm gonna take a picture of this. So, am, am I done? Holy shit, dude! Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 no, just- Wait, 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 you could just send my daughter and son and and wife down. I'm taking a picture of this. I'm taking some pictures of this. 
I lived. Oh shit, no, I don't think so. Open. Yeah, the only weakness of this alien architecture is the fact that it, uh, it melts when exposed to normal flashing lights. Okay, it looks like the only way I can go is into this room to destroy the core of the ship while unsupervised. It's kind of their fault. I think I'm doing something to it that time. Oh, yeah, now it's turning, uh, turning a bad color. Yep, that's not good. I'm stuck here. Oh, Clyde! Oh, put me down, put me down, put me- Ow! I'm- Why are we- Yeah, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, fuck you! If- And fuck you! Yeah! Yeah, dude, fuck you! <laughs> and I do it all again! And I do it again! Fuck you! Yeah, that's right, welcome to Earth! The windows are gone. The next box we have here is, uh, what's this? Inspect? The box has upstairs master bedroom written on it. Where the hell's that? Okay. Wow, look at this place. Very nice. Why the fuck does this house in the middle of literally nowhere have an actual number on it of 675? <sighs> I love Minecraft. <sighs> Creeper's gonna come around the corner any second now and fucking explode. Man, I feel really at peace and at ease. Sure freaking hope there's not some kind of demon. Why is this place like red and spooky? One minute! Who the fuck is at my door at goddamn, like the middle of the, middle of the... What do you want? What's good? Oh. <laughs> I was really confused what the second half toilet was for. Filled me with a level of dread I had never experienced in my life. Is that a bidet? That looks stupid. Is that how people live? Oh my god. Hello? Hello there, you must be our new neighbor. Uh, can I help you with anything, ma'am? Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house has been purchased and that the new owner, owner would be here today, so I baked you something special as a welcoming gift. Uh, thank you. I think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. What? You got inside the house? Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside and out. Make sure you try some of that pastry I made for you, okay? I know you're gonna, you're gonna love it. Uh, a plate of grostoli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. <laughs> the woman was very, oh, was very odd, but her grostolis were delicious. I ate them all. I'm not sure I'll get used to this bed, but I'll have to, it'll have to do for now. This time, I didn't dream about the house. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck is going on? Whoa! My wife! My wife and I were in a hurry to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. I find myself in a car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water had just broken. Okay. Uh, honey, are you gonna be okay? Yes, just avoid any bumpy roads, please. She gives off a nervous laugh. Thank you, just please remember the highway's blocked. Now please hurry. I, yeah, I will. Hold on. Hold on to something. Skirt. Oh, shit. I don't think that's my fault. I thought I was gonna like crash into something. She just died on her own, dude. The baby escaped. There's blood all over her tummy. The baby crawled its way out like a fucking xenomorph. Somewhere in the car. The baby is loose. I repeat, the baby is loose. <laughs> I slept for a whole 30 seconds. Time to invade the privacy of this uh, lovely family. The tape shows that man, who I assume was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement with the camera sitting on the counter and pointing at him. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence as if anxiously rehearsing his first few words to the camera. The man also seems uneasy and disturbed. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur to his family. He is less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. I can't help but feel that his words are directed at me somehow, as if he knows that I'm here watching this. Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? What is the point of these tapes? I keep on unpacking my boxes. And? But... To... <laughs> The second tape was very clearly about a worrying accident, and, well, the third tape was about a, uh, the WWE cage match rumble. Uh, looks like this was just a, uh, recording of a pay-per-view, uh, 
some kind of wrestling tournament. Uh, I, I figured it'd be a nice change of pace, so I decided to watch it. The man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in darkness surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see. In that crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's despair, guilt, and regret. Yet I cannot bring myself to stop the tape, and I keep watching. His words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. And then Stone Cold Steve Austin grabs him and throws him onto the mat. The crowd starts cheering. They're going crazy. He throws him down and gives him the people's elbow in front of the entire crowd. Hang on. In the brief moments that I can see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelming burden upon his shoulders. In the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies. But before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. <laughs> and here comes the steel chair. What the fuck? How long? Dude, this is supposed to be a free game. What does this game want from me? Okay. Boom. That's where my pictures are gonna go. And this, that's where my radio is gonna go. Well, looks like I'm allowed to take- The fuck is there an orb doing outside my goddamn house? What the- Oh my head, holy shit, oh. oh. Oh, what the fuck, ow! You guys watching this channel? What the hell's going on? No more of that channel for you two, all right? You let- you let the fan watch whatever it wants to watch, it's their turn! 908466 You! Who's this?! Dude, chill! I'm gonna call him on my real phone. 908466 That's two screenshots I took doing that. I'll have you know I'm recording this. So watch what you say. I'm hanging up! Alright, looks like we, uh, are almost done. Most of the windows in my house have now been- I'm getting, like, I'm getting sealed into my home, quietly by a ghost. I'm being- I'm- I'm getting skinnamary. Chad. You think you could just seal me in? You think you could just lock me in a house and take away all the doors and windows and think you're not gonna get caught? You think you really want to catch these hands, do ya? This is what happens when you get on that wacky tobacco. Relax, man! You're just an orb! You can't hurt me! Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm inside of it. Yeah, I'm in the orb. <sighs> Something's wrong. My, br my head freaking hurt. My stuff! Going upstairs to my office. That's a safety hazard. I'm going back down to the basement. Stop crying! Ed, look at you, honey. See, I told your father you're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently, come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here, and Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Oh, you know what? I have a better idea. Why don't you join us? Oh, Laura misses you so much, and she's so hungry all the time. Um, no, I'm gonna go. I see. She's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her now, then. Pity you can't join us. She really needs her daddy. That is a pile of slime. I'm gonna go get some milk. Babe? Spit that out, Laura. <laughs> Bad. Hey, spit that out. Get that out of your mouth. Let family go. Yeah, I'm letting him go. Slash me goes to get cigarettes and never comes back. And Elgato's myself. <laughs> it's like clipping through all the shit I put around. Guilt has haunted me. I don't know where to put things anymore. I just throw things around the house. I built a labyrinth of all my worldly possessions and found my way out. That was pretty good for a free one. I got the good ending, and I found four out of five secrets, so I guess I missed one of the VHSs. Guys, it was the good ending to watch the ghost of my wife climb into a primordial slime while I peaced out. Have a good night. See ya.